Hello everyone, this is Spliced, and today I'm going to be going over every single Lawbringer change that came in the patch. This will be going over all the damage changes, the attack speed changes, and even the parry repose changes. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So the first change I want to talk about first is the obvious long arm into side heavy from side light. This has been increased, so now you get a guaranteed side heavy, and the animation has changed a little bit as well to show you guys that you can now get a side heavy from doing a long arm on an opponent. It is still pretty hard to land the long arm, of course, because it's a slow attack, but if you take that risk to get the long arm, you can now get a side heavy, which can combo in some pretty good hits. The first parry counter I want to talk about is the parry repost where when you parry and you do a light attack, it's a guaranteed hit on the enemy. None of that has changed in terms of damage or the fact that it's a light attack still. The only thing that has changed is now it stuns your enemy, making them blind and giving you a chance to counter with anything that you want. Next we have the make way parry counter. Make way is a counter where when you parry, you will end up doing a zone attack after. And now it has been changed where it is now guaranteed you get super armor and the damage has been increased by 5. This can be very useful when you're getting ganked up on. I have yet to test any of these moves on real players, but for now I'm just showing you what has been changed. And finally we have the impaling repose counter. This has been changed so now you get a guaranteed impale when you parry your opponent and you can knock them into a wall guaranteeing you a heavy of your choice from the side or the top and then following up with any combo you want to go with after that. Keep in mind though in order to use this you have to have a lot of stamina as it uses up 75% of your stamina just to impale them into a wall. Moving on to the basic combo changes, we're going to start with the book chapter verse changes. It is a light heavy light and they have changed the top heavy attack startup decreased from 1000 milliseconds from 1100 milliseconds. Basically for those who do not know what that means, it has been increased in speed by 100 milliseconds. They also decreased the side heavy attack startup from 1000 milliseconds to 900 as well. The top heavy attack damage has been increased from 35 from 20. The side heavy attack damage increased to 30 from 20. The top light finisher attack damage increased to 15 from 10. And the side light finisher attack damage increased to 15 from 8. Next we're moving on to swift justice. This is a heavy light heavy. The light attack startup has been decreased to 500 milliseconds from 700 milliseconds which is a really crazy change as you guys can clearly see the light attack comes out much quicker. The top light attack damage has been increased to 15 from 10 and the side light attack has been increased to 15 from 8. So the light attack is the MVP of this moveset that has done a lot more damage and it's a lot more quicker too. So it's more guaranteed to get out and more easier to hit on your opponents. And finally, we come to Judge, Jury, and Executioner. This is a light, heavy, heavy, and the heavy is an unblockable attack. The first top heavy attack startup has been decreased to 1,000 milliseconds from 1,100 milliseconds. The change isn't really too noticeable, but it is there. The first side heavy attack startups has been decreased to 900 milliseconds from 1,000 milliseconds. So the same heavy attack, first he heavy attack, will be decreased. The heavy finisher unblockable has not been increased in speed, but the damage has been increased to 45 from 30, which is pretty insane as you guys can see on the screen. It takes off a lot of HP from an assassin class. So that about does it for all the changes that have currently come to the Lawbringer. These are all very nice changes and I'm very much looking forward to using them in battle and seeing how well it can actually prove to be a good class from here on out. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching, hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.